Welcome to my video on how to get dressed for Yaido. I already put on my juban, so we skip straight to the keikogi. You put it on like a jacket. Instead of buttons or a zipper, it's got four short strings. One starts off with the left inner string and ties it to the right side with a tidy bow. Then do the same on the right side. Next we're doing the kakuobi. One starts out on the left hip bone. The obi goes slightly down and over your bladder to the right hip bone, then across the lower back, back to the left hip bone where we started. For reference, my belly button is right here. Then we wrap the obi around two more times. We take the rest that's too long and fold it back in on itself tuck it away in the back. The end should rest on your right hip bone. Now pull out the starting end, fold it in half, so it has the same thickness as the other folded end. Put the broad end over the thin one. And loop it under like this. Now push the broad end that's sticking upwards between the middle and outer layer. Both ends should be the same length and rather short if done correctly. If not, just unfold, adjust the length of the broad one and try again. When you're done, grab the obi at the knot and the opposite side on your back and slide it to the right. The knot should sit on your lower back. Now it's time to get the keikogi in order. Try to get it straight and remove any folds or creases you've accidentally created on your back and in the front. My belly button is still right here. Now let's get to the fun part, the hakama. First untie the hakama himo. Orient the hakama so that the koshiita faces you and let the back part drop down. Now 
step into its legs. The hakama should start one finger from the upper edge of the obi. The longer front hemo go around your hip bone and above the knot of the obi. Cross paths and come back down over the hip towards your bladder where they cross. Then they go back under the knot where you tie a bow. If the hemo don't sit firm below your hip bone after crossing in the front, you might want to twist one or both of them. The front is done. Let's continue with the back. See the Hakama Dome? It goes over the top hemo and into the OB. The back hemo follow the ones from the front to your bladder. I've seen people tie the knot here left and right side over, so I'll show you both side by side. Whatever end you choose to go over the other now loops through all the hemo in the front and makes a vertical part of a cross. The other one makes a loop and goes horizontal, like so. Now insert the vertical hemo through the loop and carefully pull it tight. The knot should look something like this. The ends of the back hemo now follow the front ones downwards and get tucked away. Now we just have the knee pads and the tubby left. Putting on tubby is super easy. Just slip into them and secure them with their hook loop system. Then I put on my knee pads, which Sensei got me from Japan. I love them. As a bonus, I'll show you how to mount your katana. Hold the sword in your right hand point around the tsuba, while the left hand prepares the obi for insertion. The katana goes between the inner and middle layer, so that's two layers from the outside. See the kojiri? Poke out under the obi. It should go through exactly at that point. The sword slips under the upper hemo from the back and front, as well as the obi. 
but goes over the lower hemo. Different schools have different ways of tying their sagio to their hakama. I learned it like this. Over the saya, then back under, and loop through the hemo in the front. One palm from the knot, one palm should stick out from under the hemo. And this concludes how to get dressed for the idol. Thanks for watching.